What's up guys, this is Satya for HyperClick. In this video, we're going to talk about creating a strong password for your account. If you like this video, you can hit the like and subscribe button and share it with your friends. Being said that, let's get started. The first point in this video is using unique passwords. Uh, many of our uh, friends and colleagues use the same password in different accounts. So they might have a, a account with Gmail, Outlook, Yahoo Mail, AOL or Mail.com. So but they use the same password for all the accounts they have. So this is a wrong practice if a hacker or an individual gets to know the password of one account he or she can easily log into the rest of the accounts without any any barriers so uh, on the downside it is it's 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 bit hard to memorize all the pass different password for different account so we have a work around for that uh, let's divide the password into two categories i mean two uh, division a single password can be divided like the constant one and the variable part so in the constant part there won't be any changes in the constant part whatever the account may be but the variable changes depends upon the domain you use for example so currently I'm using a uh, gmail and I wanted to set a password for it so I'm gonna use browser.98 as the password for gmail so here is the trick instead of just using browser.98 i am gonna add a two letter prefix saying gm gm browser.98 so this is the password for my gmail guess what if i open another account with outlook.com my password most of the time would be the same but i just change the prefix or the domain name here i can use ou browser.98 here the domain name is outlook so i'm going to use the first two letters i say ou browser.98 if i'm going to use yahoo email i'm going to use oa browser.98 so this is how you can make the slightest change so that you can make your password unique the next point is uh, you always mix words numbers and symbols so especially in gmail you can use any combination of ascii characters the ascii characters are given in the description section you can uh, click the link and browse through the characters of ASCII. A third point is don't use common passwords. Uh, in many cases, uh, friends and colleagues use uh, common passwords like password 1,2,3,4,5,6, quality, baseball, football, let me in, ABC123. Uh, triple one and triple one so these are all very guessable very uh, easily hackable passwords instead of that you can use select a random word and insert let's say uh, symbols numbers alphabets so make it but tougher to read or hack for example you can use uh, gm dot browser at the rate of usa.98 so this makes the hacker a bit difficult to understand the password the next point is you always make sure to update the password recovery option especially in uh, google account you have two type of uh, recovery option one is recovery email the other one is uh, the mobile number you, you have you have to always make sure that 
these two information are up to date for example if somebody's account is get got hacked or uh, the user forgot uh, their uh, password we can recover he or she can recover the password or the account using the given email address and mobile phone number so this will come handy in our difficult uh, situation the next option is keep your password secured so in some cases people used to write the password in a sticky note or a note and leave it on the table uh, or they track the password in a notepad or a word pad and uh, place it on their desktop normally you know this is not a good practice anybody can open that and see that and uh, get into your account instead of doing it you can use a password manager there are a lot of password managers tools and softwares are available so you can use those and store your password or otherwise you can use your own excel sheet prepare excel sheet and give the domain name give the username and give the password and uh, save it in your desktop and make sure that that particular excel sheet is password protected and the last point is uh, you can use password for self rein reinforcement uh, for example i wanted to be a proactive person in my office or uh, at personal life and uh, i want to reinforce the particular uh, you know trait in me uh, what i can do is i can use proactive as my main uh, component in my password so uh, i can use proactive.98 as my password or i can use uh, if i if i'm using google account uh, i can use uh, go proactive.98 or if it is gmail if uh, gm proactive.98 so in this case whenever you type the password it will really help the particular individual reinforce certain uh, word uh, to the user or well, it's like proactive we can use lead uh, you can use the word called change so there are many words you can use and, and it will it will be a reminder or a reinforcing a uh, term to you whenever you use the password so uh, if you like this video please click the like button and uh, leave your comments and feedback in the comment section and thanks for your time